Good morning, world. This is Draken, and today I will be, unfortunately, spending a little bit of my viz because they have a new summon banner up. And just like the last one with Sakura, they have that one nine-step amazing summon. So I'm going to end up going and doing that summon because you just get so much value out of it. I wouldn't recommend doing his paid one. Those ones are just horrible. I mean, you do have a 50% chance to get him. For a whale, that's probably very good. But for the rest of us, that is a lot of actual money for not 100% chance, right? <laughs> so this is what uh, they have going on here. This is the nine step that I did last time for Sakura. And the value you get out of it is just extraordinary because you get, no matter what, 600 unit shards. So that total value, I believe, is like 30,000 viz. And this whole thing, I think, only costs like 1,400 because 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, two of them are free, and those are the free ones that give you. 600 shards plus you have all the other bonuses there and it's just such a massive amount of stuff you get normally each one of those things is probably like 1000 to 2000 probably even 3000 viz for just some of the stupid little things so i really wish they would stop making good summons like this because it's hurting my viz amount that i want to save up but let's just hop right into this and see what we get I mean, it doesn't matter what we get out of the regular pulls. We end up getting... See, from the first one, three Rainbow Spheres. Super useful. Even if we didn't get anything good out of the pole itself. Just the three spheres helps a lot. So, second pole here. Nothing fantastic, really, but 300 turtles. So that'll build this right, right up. <laughs> Which is good, because that's what I need to upgrade. A ton of units, and a ton of vision cards, is just more money. And then after this I'll be talking about the shop, because they have a ton of shit in the shop too that's also really good. I don't have this card yet, until now. Risk Outlaws. Ice Eater up? That could be useful in an upcoming raid here actually, because they're going to have uh, Glacial. And agility up one, which can never go wrong with agility up cards. If it was more than 1%, it'd be probably a lot nicer. Mm. Assuming a full upgrade, it probably gives you like 10% or something. So let's see here. Fourth pull. And nothing really fantastic, but, you know, 300 fragments of thought. Not that I really am too concerned about those, but if I do get a unit that I need to break or awaken, I won't have to worry about any of those for a long time. Now, this is the free one, and I'm also going to get, you know, 300 shards on. So, right there, I now have 300 shards for this idiot, which, his ability is really fucking good, so... I'm hoping I don't get him again, I'm hoping I get Rain, or anyone else. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't going for him, but I mean, I got his shards. Maybe it'll end up like the Sakura pull, where I'll end up getting just two of his things. And he'll be ready to go, max limit burst, fucking day one. So I'm not getting a huge amount of good stuff, but the chances of actually getting the four main characters that are featured on this banner are increased on this banner. So there is a good chance to get any of these four people, all of which are fire, which is my probably weakest element right now so I would like to get some more fire units my poles just aren't being very uh, generous to me though I'm not really getting any of them just yet <laughs> but it's all about those 600 shards you get and all the little rewards fuck my viz is just taking a beating though because of this I'm gonna have to do some of those uh challenges where I get uh, viz for playing other games. Man, I have not gotten very good rewards throughout the whole thing here. So this is going to be the last one, I believe. At least it's a free one, so it doesn't cost me anything. 
But we did get all the shards I did want. <laughs> of course I would get uh, all of his shards. So he is ready to be max limit broke once I get him. And I won't be pulling any more for him. He's going to be, you know, free. So I'll get him eventually. Surprised I didn't have Titus before. I guess I have him now. Attack down granted. Wow, that's honestly kind of a garbage weapon, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, I got Opleo at the end, one of him. So, free, free summon on this, might as well take it. And then I'll be going over the shop here, because that also took down my Viz a little bit here, because they had quite a few nice deals going on in the shop. Are there any others? Yes. The vision card one. I've, I've just wanted the chocobo the whole time from this, and I have not gotten it yet. Uh, now I have a Tomberry. What's the Tomberry do, anyways? Magic attack resist up, that's nice. Disable resist up, also handy. Attack AP, that's a different one. I believe that's pretty much all. So yeah, I'm not doing this pull here. Uh, do they have them in the metal shop as like a pity kind of summon? No, they don't. Oh wait, that's not his, that's this metal shop for his quest line. Which doesn't have any of their shards in it, but it has 20 turtles for Metal, so I'll be farming this up just so I can get the turtles a bunch. And for the rainbow vision sphere. And one of each of those. Turn with learning. February, so they don't have a guaranteed one of him for like, you know, 2,000 medals or 200 medals or something. But they do have them in the shop itself, just for the shards. You have to wail out really hard to get a single rainbow vision sphere from those, though. I don't know why they have them so pricey in those shops. Like, just traps everywhere for people. So these all reset, so is there any new... Rodrigo... Saiza... Well, it looks like it's the same old everything else in all of those. So I will be getting a bunch more of these from him as the days go on, because they will hand out a bunch of his shards to us. If I'd managed to get him as well, I would have had a ton of... Oh, hey, they have a guarantee. Ultra rare, just right up. Never mind. That's, that's the garbage one, don't do it. For a second I thought they had guaranteed him just because I saw his picture there. That's not the case. He does not have a guaranteed drop, and as he is a not limited time unit, I will say you can pass on him. I didn't pass on that uh, banner just because it's so much value for what you get. So the shop here, though, unfortunately also had a couple of very, very good deals going on in it. Actually, let's claim those rewards. Claim. So 30 million is the gill value for that. That'll help me out quite a bit with some of my upgrades for my units. So I basically just bought everything that I thought was valuable. Uh, these I don't think are so valuable. At this point you should have a ton of units left, but if you don't and you're looking to invest and you're new to play and you put a little bit of money on or someone gave you a gift card, they're not the worst deal. They're pretty good. They get you a lot of units, a lot of the mythic rare, and after 10 of these you get ultra rare, and sometimes you'll just get ultra rare out of them. I wouldn't go for this ultra rare pack, it's kind of just garbage, it's just one ultra rare unit, 50 of these shitty little EX cubes. Not worth 500, especially if you think about it, two of these gives you 10 summon tickets. Which is a guaranteed ultra rare. And it's only a hundred more, so this would be much more value than this. 
The Ultra Rare Vision Card Pack, that's something to consider because Ultra Rare Vision Cards are much harder to get. I saw this, and if you're swimming in Fizz, it's, it's honestly still not the best deal, but if you have a Mythic Rare unit you really fucking want to get up there, it does give you 50 of the select shards, so you can get basically these units. All, you know, all of them. But it's only 50 shards for 1,500 Fizz. I don't have enough to invest on that. This is where this stuff hurt me right here, is on these training packs. Because for once they didn't have like one sh Rainbow Fragment and one Rainbow Vision Sphere for 3,000 Fizz. They had five of these fucking things. And three of these for 2,000, which is actually not that bad of a deal. <laughs> so I bought that one up. Then the Mythic Rare Training Kit, it's a thousand for three of these, and there's three. You can buy it three times, so I got that. I'll be getting a couple Mythic Rare units up to 99 now because of that. And same with the Super Rare Unit Training Pack, it's only 500, and you get three of these. So I ended up getting nine of them. I'll be maxing out a couple well, Super Rare Units too. This is another thing I would recommend from the shop right now, is the Kaiser Knuckles, if you are planning to build him. And you don't want to invest in the farm, this just gives you a plus three and then you just have to upgrade it. So, it saves you a little bit of time, and you can buy one of them now. They might have one in the next shop as well, so you could get two plus three, so a plus four, so that's half of the farm you wouldn't need to do if you did that. And if you haven't gotten the Fittus Lacerna, like, coat thing you can get a couple of them here i believe nope limited to one but you can get one of them and it just helps you kind of get this equipment started if you don't have equipment and you're just starting out that's a very good deal because again it's not paid viz either so that's really useful for anyone who is free to play i'm going to be probably putting in a lot of time in some other games here to do the you know <laughs> free visuri thing trying to get that back up there before uh, a certain banner comes out that I am now dreading. So, let's see, super... 150 of these for a thousand viz isn't a bad deal either. That's actually pretty good, especially since you can get three of them. I hate their numbers they throw on these things. They're never what they say they are. They're never like 80% off. So, 100 burst pots they're charging a thousand viz for. If you really want burst pots, go do the 9-step summon banner. You get so much more out of it. <laughs> so, 2,000 viz for 100 of these. These are kind of like... Compared to the higher ones, they're not really worth anything. Ultra Rare Unit Awakening Pack. So that's one, one sphere. 2,000 viz and 100 of these. So... Times that by three, and you get what you would get out of the summon banner. So literally, that would be three pulls into the summon banner if you bought these. So you might as well just do that summon banner if you're looking to get this right here. And you end up saving a lot of his. Get a good chance at getting a higher, like, unit. Unit enhancement pack. Useless cubes. <laughs> and then further down they had the rare unit training packs, so I bought those up. There's a couple rare units that I would have never gotten if I'd never got these, right? I'm not investing the rainbow spheres into them. I bought this just because maybe one day they'll show some love to a normal unit and just have like a 10 normal unit release fucking banner <laughs> where they just release 10 new rare, like normal rarity units or something. Unit Enhancement Pack, I don't worry about the cubes anymore. Equipment Enhancing Pack on the other side, I do get, just because that's not a bad deal for that amount. And then of course you have all your other standards down here. You can get some of these if you really want, I'm not going to bother with them right now. The Featured Unit Shop, I didn't see anything super amazing out of this. I mean, they have his shards, again, 40 for 2000. I would take your 25% chance to get, you know, 300 of his shards out of the banner rather than just buy them outright out of the shop here. And they're throwing this in, five of his things 
each day, so he's guaranteed to be maxed by any whale character. Because they also have three of these here, so 4, 8, 12. So they'll probably go right in hard on that, and this, and those, and just pull on his banner until they get him. And I mean, he is a very strong unit for fire. If you have a fire team, I would recommend just trying to get his shards up now. Uh, if you're trying to save up, though, don't, you know, go too hard on his unknown banner, like the one where you can pull but not get him. Just do the, well, basically just do the nine step to maybe get a ton of his shards and then buy his shards out of the shop. I would just recommend saving up and eventually you will get him for free and he will be a great addition to your party at some point. Doesn't have to be immediately, doesn't have to be today, but hopefully your guys' polls go a little bit better than mine. I was hoping for 300 rain shards because then I could have maxed rain out, or even old Leonis as well. He would be a great unit coming up in the glacial raid and another strong fire unit to add to my team. But I got 600 of this guy's shards, so I mean that'll be perfect once I get him. He'll go great with any other fire units I want. In the future, he's going to be a very strong. Plus, he's a fist unit. You don't see many of those. And like a lot of the newer units, he has the party-wide buff to all fire units get a certain little bonus, which is, in my opinion, going to make the newer units much more viable than all the old units who do not have those party buffs, which are basically just a free VC added into their kit just because, hey, we're new, we're strong. Come come pull for us, spend your viz. So that was my video today, guys. Hopefully your luck goes pretty well and see you next time.